Right, you guys, got another video here for you. Microsoft now warns against installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and incompatible PCs. You can see on this article, which they've just updated, saying important, updated on uh, December 12th, 2024, Windows 11 on devices that doesn't uh, meet minimum system requirements. It basically says here, this support article was originally published on October 4th, 2021, when Windows 11 was first released uh, to the public. At the time of the publication, and still today, the intention behind the support page is to detail considerations for customers to understand the implications of installing Windows 11 against Microsoft's recommendations on devices that don't meet system requirements for Windows 11. If you install Windows 11 on that device, uh, not meeting Windows 11 system requirements, Microsoft recommends you roll back to Windows 10 immediately. So that's a big change in what they were actually saying at the beginning when they were giving you a workaround on their website, which they have now removed. So Windows 11 system requirements remain unchanged and can be found in the article Windows 11 uh, specs, features and computer requirements. So when you click on this, this will give you the full specifications. This hasn't changed. They've kept it exactly the same. So let's go back to that article. So here it goes on to say installing Windows 11 on a device that doesn't meet Windows 11 minimum system requirements isn't recommended. And it also goes on to say if Windows 11 is installed on ineligible hardware, your device won't uh, receive any support from Microsoft and you should be comfortable assuming the risk of running into compatibility issues. So here we go on down to this section right here where it says that devices that don't meet the system requirements might malfunction due to the compatibility of other issues. Additionally, these devices aren't guaranteed to receive updates uh, including but not limited to security updates. So in the future, uh, Microsoft could actually close the door on Windows updates for those devices that have unsupported hardware. So it says the following disclaimer applies to when attempting to install Windows 11 on a device that doesn't meet the minimum system requirements. Right here in bold, it goes on to say this PC doesn't meet minimum system requirements for running Windows 11. These requirements help ensure a more reliable and higher quality experience. Installing Windows 11 on this PC is not recommended and may result in compatibility issues. If you proceed with installing Windows 11, your PC will no longer be supported and won't be entitled to receive updates. Damages to your PC due to the lack of compatibility aren't covered under the manufacturer warranty by selecting accept you acknowledge that you read and understand this statement so they have updated this quite a bit and what does that mean for you well it basically means that if you are installing windows 11 on unsupported hardware they are basically telling you here uh, that you run the risk of running into compatibility issues and also not guaranteed to receive any updates, including but not limited to security updates. So in the future, they could actually close the door for you to receive any form of updates. They're also telling you right here, Microsoft recommends you roll back to Windows 10 immediately, but they haven't extended the rollback period they've only given you 10 days to roll back which means you're going to probably have to do a fresh install of that operating system so that's what they've actually done on this article they've updated it quite a bit to make sure you understand the risk of installing windows 11 on unsupported hardware although there's many people out there that have installed windows 11 on unsupported hardware and it's working flawlessly for them as it is of today uh, the 10th of the 1st, 2025. That being said, they could change their mind at any time and start making it very difficult for those people on unsupported hardware. You are going to have a watermark on the desktop saying that you're on uh, unsupported hardware and they could do further things to you in the future. And it goes on to explain about how you can roll back, but you only have 10 days, basically. This used to be 
a longer period to roll back, but they have now reduced it down to 10 days, which makes it really more difficult to roll back uh, on that system. But what I wanted to point out here, they talk about it's not recommended. And then when you come down to this link right here, related articles, and click on ways to install Windows 11, when you click on this right here, they mention it all about Windows 11 and upgrading Windows 11 right here. And also it does give you a section which says recommended, but they also add in a section right here that says other ways to install Windows 11, not recommended. Well, if it's not recommended, why would you bother even mentioning it? Why would you have it on your website, which is support.microsoft.com? This is what's confusing to a lot of people. And again, here it goes on to explain about how you can uh, use it and use the installation assistant to upgrade your system. And I've showed people how to do this. But if you don't want people to do it, then why are you explaining how to do it, how to do a full upgrade and keep all your data and programs? And now you can even do a fresh install with it as well. And they used to have a piece of, uh, you know, piece of code here, which I showed in one of my videos, which they've now removed from their website. And it makes no uh, sense at all to have this section right here on your website saying other ways to install Windows 11 not recommended in brackets and yet you go on to explain how you can upgrade to Windows 11 which is not recommended but we're going to show you anyway that just makes no sense whatsoever and this should be taken off of their website because at the end of the day it's confusing to a lot of people now someone might stumble on this particular site and see this and think well it says it's not recommended, but I'm going to go ahead and try it because it tells me how to do it right here. You know, it makes that's what I would say. Uh, remove this completely and have nothing to do with installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and talking about it at all on your website. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to read your comments because there's a lot of people that have old systems that are literally, uh, you know, ready for the e-waste bin if they can't continue to use, say, Windows on that system. Not everyone wants to go down the Linux route. Not everyone wants to install Linux on their system and, and have to learn how to use another operating system. Some people like Windows and they want to stay with Windows. Now, I do agree that some old systems are just too old. Some systems, like 15 years old, uh, there was someone talking about Windows 11 with four gigabytes of RAM. I mean, that's probably a push. You know, I would say that you've got to have a reasonably spec system for Windows 11. I wouldn't go too far back because that's just a joke. But again, if you've got a really, really old system, some of these systems are not supported anyway because of the pop count. So bear that in mind. So just a quick video just explaining what Microsoft are now saying about Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Just wanted to bring that to your attention just in case you have rolled out an upgrade to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. It does state it right here that they are not uh, supporting it. And again, they could pull the plug at any time. So bear that in mind. Make sure you keep a backup of all your data just in case they do something nasty by like pulling all the updates and stuff like that from you. You know, you never know with Microsoft. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.